Let's talk about negotiations and communication, key ingredients to getting the job done. Uh, negotiating is really what we have the most fun doing. It's the way we pay for ourselves, and we love it. it, it it's really uh, the marketing, the advertising, getting abundance of buyers calling on properties, getting multiple people into the home. And then when we have offers, that's when we pay for ourselves. It's, it's, it's the key language that a professional would use that sets them apart from the competitors. We'll go through a, a couple examples here. If a buyer was to make an offer on your property and it's below the asking price, let's say, we're not going to just go to you and submit the offer or email it to you. We're going to do some prior negotiations for you so that we can get a feel for what a buyer is willing to pay. If we go to the buyer and we say uh, the seller is actually looking for a little bit more money than that offer, they've actually turned down an offer that was a little bit higher than that. I would love to present your offer, but they've requested that anything lower than X price doesn't get presented. Just giving you an example. Um, letting a buyer know that a seller has turned down an offer that was a little bit better than that one. Can we do a little bit better on this and then present that to the seller? I want your offer to be taken seriously. And then wait for their feedback. Wait for the agent's feedback. If the agent says, you know, let me see what I can do. I think we can do a little bit better. Now I know they're willing to pay more. I know how much a buyer is willing to pay. Something also that's important, if a buyer comes back to us and raises the offer before we counter them, then we know that they're willing to pay more. So when I talk to you, the homeowner, I can say, you know, hey, their first offer was 480,000. I know we're trying to get 500,000. I let them know that we had better and we turned it down. They've now come back and they're willing to go to 490. I know that they are willing to pay more without even being countered than you ask us can we get more? I say yes because I have the facts now. I know that if they've increased their offer originally that they're willing to pay more, they will pay 490, you wanted 500, maybe we settle at 497 and see where we go. So that's just an example there. Uh, we follow up with every agent and every buyer because our marketing and advertising and our signage captures everybody's information. Every lead that comes in, we follow up with them. And with this process, we know who's interested and who's not. We're able to give feedback to you. Uh, we give updates every week and it lets you, we let you know how many buyers called, how many agents called, and who's interested and who's not. So you are aware of exactly the process and the uh, polarity and the traction your home is getting. Um, when we talk to buyers, we look at the weak spots. We talk to the agents about uh, is the buyers transferring school districts? Do they have a job transfer? What are their deadlines? Are they in a hurry? We get these facts and this helps us formulate an offer to find out can we get them to come up a little bit more? Which is the key question for you. How much can we get a buyer to pay? After learning a buyer's weak spots, if we have one to three buyers, for example, and we know the buyer's weak spots, we're able to gather the information and counter the buyers accordingly not too aggressively as to lose them, but now we know they're willing to pay more and they're on a deadline. And so we use this information as valuable resources to grind buyers against each other and have them pay more money. And then we get the buyer's highest and best. So when we talk to the homeowner yourself, it's not here's the offers, what do you want to do? We've already grinded them against each other. We've got their highest and best. We've played the uh, frenzy game with them that other people are interested you're going to lose this property if we don't do a little bit better. So now we've got a second round of negotiations. Now we know that we're pretty close to a buyer's best terms. We've already driven the price up. We present those facts to you so you can pick not only the best terms, but the best buyer for your property. Sometimes it has to do with the agent. It has to do with how serious the buyer is and are they willing to take a couple of things as is. There's other ingredients to choosing the right buyer. Uh, negotiations using specialized knowledge and our ability to communicate clearly with the other agents and grind the offers together. Because we talk to every agent, every buyer that comes and shows interest on our property, we have a very good success rate of selling our properties. We actually sell our homes for 99% and a half, 99 and a half percent. That's almost 100% of the asking price when we list our homes. 
Because our negotiations are able to drive the price up above our competitors, we're able to get more profit for our homeowners. Uh, we'll sell your home for more money. 3.8% uh, 3, 3 difference statistically. If you look at the average agent in our county, we're able to sell at 99% of the asking price, which is 3.8% difference. Now what that equates out to is in Contra Costa, there's a $507,000 average home price. Based on $507,000, that's over $19,000 more profit for a homeowner who worked with Heinz Realty Group over our competitors. Also in negotiations, uh, one of the talk show hosts here in the Bay Area, uh, News Talk Radio, Gil Gross, well known, he heard that we sold a property at 16% over the comparables in the area. So we got 16% more for a property. He actually interviewed me and another agent on the team and uh, we've got a recording of that we can play for you uh, when we meet in person. It's pretty neat and it felt great to be interviewed by a local professional. That concludes our negotiations and communications. I was just giving you a couple of examples. Every scenario is different. I get clear on what a homeowner wants. Once we're clear on what a homeowner wants, we're going after it with everything we got. The goal is to get buyers to that point or more. And that's why we offer the 100% guarantee so that we can show you that we're in it with you. If we don't get you the 100%, we've got a stake in the game. And that's what we wanted to express to you. I hope you find value in this video.